Hello and welcome. This will be a demo on how to use ION to integrate systems using the File Transfer Protocol, also known as FTP. N4OS includes an IPaaS component called ION, and ION acts as a system integration platform. Many connection types to these systems are possible, and many file formats are supported, but FTP to FTP is a simple and common pattern we'll be discussing in this tutorial. So let's look at how simple it is to connect systems together via FTP. Over to ION, inside the N4OS portal, via the left-hand menu, I've expanded the Data Catalog menu item and selected Object Schemas, since we'll be transferring two different types of documents via FTP. One is an N4OS Business Object document, or BOD, and the other is a CSV file for N4OS BODs. Since we're using a custom CSV file and a BOD, we're going to upload the schema for the CSV file on the Object Schemas page. Click the Import button, and it'll ask for a local file to upload. I'll select a zip file that contains the schema layout for my CSV file. My CSV file is very simple as it only has three fields. We'll have the company number, inventory location, and inventory item. And here's an example of a CSV file with two records. In the uploaded zip file, I have a JSON file sharing the name of the object, what kind of separator it has, in this case, commas, and then a description of the three different fields. Now we'll click OK, and you'll see that it was uploaded successfully. And if I click the CSV demo schema that we just uploaded, you can see that it imported successfully with the three different fields in it. Now click on the Connect menu and select the Connection Points tab. Connection points are the definitions of how we connect to other systems. We'll click the Add button and choose FTP. For our demo purposes, I will use the SFTP cloud connection point, but if you need to communicate with a local FTP server, you can use a file connection point and an enterprise connector. We'll provide this connection point a name and the connection information. Do note that ION is not an FTP server. It acts as an FTP client, so the information I place here is the same as you would of your regular desktop FTP client software. If we're using secure FTP over the internet, then we would probably use encryption, and in that case, you would check this box and enter in your private and public key information. But for our simple demo, we'll test without it, and we can see that the connection is successful. Over to the Documents tab, we'll tell it what kind of documents we'll send through this connection. Click the plus button, and in this scenario, this is our outbound point so we'll be picking files from a folder in this FTP site. So select the outbound radio button. Next, we'll select document and filter for our defined schema, select it and scroll down. We'll also provide the folders we want to read from and if there's any errors in processing that file, what folder those should be put in. We'll put star.csv to pick up any CSV files in the out folder, and after it's read the file, we can move the file, rename it, or delete it. In this case, we'll move it to a folder called archive. There's also options on how often to poll this FTP location, the default being five seconds. We'll leave the default, but you could define more complex cron expressions and there are polling options to decide what to do for errors in between retries, but we'll keep the default. Next, we'll set a second type of BOD file and XML BOD files. Click the plus button again, leave it on the read setting, and choose document. Then we'll search for the type of BOD file we want to pick up, which is the process item master for our demo. We'll define the same options for this document again, as it might be in a separate folder on this FTP site which in this case, we'll just put in the same read folder information, and this will be an XML file instead of a CSV file. So we can save this connection point, and now it's ready to use. 
Since we're going to send these documents from this FTP location to another FTP location, we can duplicate it to save us some setup time. We'll call it Demo FTP2, and this will support both file documents here, but instead of reading out from this location, we'll write to this location, so select the other radio button. We'll leave the document as CSV Demo. For write location, we'll call it in, and for file name pattern, to avoid overwrites, we can use document name underscore, then press the Alt spacebar for this listing, and select current date time dot CSV. And then again for the BOD XML file, we'll write to it, location is in, and the same will be for the file name pattern, document name underscore current date time dot XML. Now with the second FTP site defined, click Save. And now we can see that they're both defined, but inactive, because we haven't used them in a document flow yet. To do so, click on the Data Flows tab and choose Add Document Flow. We'll provide a name, and the document flow will define how data moves from system to system. So from the top, drag the file connector onto the model. From there, we'll provide the connector we want to use, which is to read from demo FTP1. Next, drag a second file connector onto the model and specify demo FTP2. Now, in between these two connection sites, we'll need to tell the model what documents this model will support. Click in between it on the document icon. Below, we'll click the plus sign. Here, we can choose either one of the listed documents. Let's choose both, and now we've defined a model that's saying I want to read files from file one using the connection point I defined and transfer both types of files over to FTP site two. Let's save and activate our model. Once activated, this ION system will start pulling the FTP one site to look for those files. The benefit of building this model is as your business processes and system integration grows, you can always deactivate the model and quickly add in more options and processes to fulfill that complexity. From there, you'd simply save and reactivate your model. To review your active data flows, you can access the information via the Active Data Flows tab we can scroll through and view all active flows within this instance. Now we can view our FTP demo flow, its type, which is indicated as a document flow, the provided description, and the most recent time of activation. You can choose to click on the flow and pull further details from the top right corner, which we'll see exemplified later on. Also, we can view active connection points. Here, we can see our two points, demo FTP1 and 2, their type being FTP over cloud, ID, status, as well as other details, such as the number of pending incoming messages or files. Similarly, as we discussed previously, we can select one of our connections, click for more details at the top, and view inbound and outbound traffic and additional properties. Now let's jump over to the FTP site to drop a file. As you can see, I've already set up the folders and we'll start by dropping a CSV file into the outbound folder. After the FTP site processes the transfer, we can see that it was successful. And after refreshing the site, we can see that the CSV file was picked up by ION. If we go to archive, we can see that ION moved a copy of the CSV file over to the archive folder as specified earlier. This can be used for internal auditing purposes, for example. Now, if we go to the second FTP site and look into the inbound folder, we can see that the CSV file was transferred here successfully, but renamed accordingly to the naming convention we set up earlier, which was CSV demo underscore date timestamp dot CSV. Let's do this again but now with the process item master BOD file. 
In the first FTP site, we can upload it to the Out folder and refresh to see that it has been removed and archived just as before. And in the second FTP site, we can see both the CSV and XML files have been renamed and stored here. And for an additional look into the overall flow process, we can quickly go back to one view in ION. Here, we can view the successful document transfers by filtering for the logical ID. From there, we can drill down into each document to view timestamps and additional details regarding each FTP site, such as the underlying tenant instance, etc. And that concludes the demo. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out the links in the description and make sure to subscribe to get the latest content.